And so speculation warning. So many people are wondering why Amber decided to go to Israel after losing to Johnny Depp. Well, the answer was right in front of our faces the entire time. Please don't forget to subscribe. So was it a vacation? No, it was her plan to not pay Johnny Depp back. You see, Amber owes Johnny $10.35 million and close to $7 million to charity. Her lawyer, Elaine Bredhoft, whom she just fired yesterday, confirmed that she cannot pay the judgment. So why would she go travel if she was broke? <laughs> well, it turns out she has plans to permanently move to Israel. Yeah. An insider spilled, quote, Amber plans on never going back to the USA. Not only is she virtually unknown in Israel, but she's actually converting to Judaism to gain Israeli citizenship. Rumor is she actually got married to Eve Barlow in a secret wedding to help with the process. Amber will do anything to permanently reside there so she can avoid paying Johnny back. And it's all starting to like make sense. Throughout the trial, Amber was not wearing the Star of David necklace. Then suddenly, on the very last day, she started to sport this symbol around her neck. It looks like this has been her plan all along if she lost the trial. No surprise there. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time Amber has planned something so far in advance. A viral document from the unsealed evidence at the Virginia trial reveals that Amber has been leaking information about Johnny Depp since 2014. Yeah, it was to help stage her elaborate hoax. The email is to the National Enquirer from an anonymous source that alleges that Johnny doesn't know when to stop and he turns into a pig. It also says that Amber locks herself in the bathroom for hours until he sobers up because she can't deal with his mood swings. All right, so one thing we've learned about Amber is she accuses others of things she does herself. This whole locking herself in the bathroom sounds exactly what Johnny would do to avoid Amber when she's in one of her mood swings. And this has been confirmed by witnesses experts, and also audio clips that Johnny would hide when Amber was, you know, throwing fists. Many think Amber had an elaborate plan to stage an OD that would unalive Johnny, but she changed her story arc to DV when she realized she was no longer in his will or post-nuptial agreement. Extorting him was the only option to get money out of him. And let's be real, like $7 million tax-free for less than two years of marriage? That's a pretty great payout. But she told the media it was all going to charity and we later found out that was all a lie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm never going to get over Amber literally used sick children to further her cause. The insider did not go further into detail why Amber may want to move to Israel or why she's so set on it. After all, she's apparently taking her baby to a very tense place. Like, you know, there's things going around in the air and can drop at any second. They have that iron dome thing that protects them. But anyway, it's still a very, you know, scary place to take a young kid. So why would she risk that? It must be for a very good reason. Well, it didn't take long for a lawyer to weigh in. Yeah, a legal expert who supports Amber, which is a rarity, tweeted, then quickly deleted a pretty eye-opening tweet, which read, quote, it would be quite smart of AH to transfer all her assets to Israel. Israel recognizes but does not enforce U.S. judgments. So this calls all of Amber's stands to get excited when Amber's secret plan that she had all along was revealed. Yeah, but it started to blow up. The tweet went viral, so the lawyer canned the post. But the internet never forgets, right? This is what we learn, and I have the receipts, which I just shared with you guys. It turns out, if Amber transfers all her assets to Israel, there would have to be fresh litigation for Johnny to start collecting his judgment. So I recommend Johnny and his team, if you guys are listening, start securing your bag immediately. 
I mean, before she can execute this plan and she does have assets coming from somewhere, <clears throat> Elon, I mean, she did stay in a $30,000 a month house during the Virginia trial and is now using very expensive lawyers for her appeal. And it's also been revealed that her homeowner insurance policy she used for the trial to pay for her like wish.com lawyers are no longer helping her out with anything because she was found to have spread malicious lies about Johnny. And let me tell you, Amber, the Greeks that speak truths to power would not back you up on that one. Amber has also been amping up her public relations while she's in Israel, which like, guys, let's get into it. This is ridiculous. Her PR moves are very expensive and, you know, are some very shady tactics. So let's get into it. I guess she moved to Israel as well. This isn't from the insider, but it's my speculation. She did this so no one would know her name. And she's in the meantime trying to repair her reputation in America. So an independent creator by the name of Laura, I'm sure you guys are familiar with her. She has been on this case forever and she's been a huge influencer. I follow her on Twitter. I'll link it below. She's amazing. This small time creator simply asked a question about an anonymous account and Amber's public relations company, which is called David Shane's PR, remember that, sent the creator that ask the question, just a question, a full on cease and desist letter. <laughs> so talk about an overreaction. And I think the overreaction actually says that this small time creator named Laura hit the nail right on the head. Like this anonymous account was definitely a part of Amber Heard's PR strategy. And they just didn't want this to go viral. But as we've learned, when people try to like hide something, it makes people want to know what was hidden even more. Like people want to know what people are trying to keep a secret. So the creator, Laura, had every right to ask this a non-account if they worked for Amber or not, seeing as how this anonymous account would get incredible engagement on their posts. I mean, like thousands and thousands of likes. And on top of that, this a non-account, which just joined Twitter, would be used as a source on hit pieces about Johnny Depp in the media. So you know how everybody who uh, pays attention to mainstream media are like, why are they constantly pushing this narrative that Johnny is the bad person, you know? And everybody's very distrustful of that because the evidence in the trial did not lie. The verdict did not lie. But why is the media constantly pushing these stories? For example, the account wrongfully alleged that people were unliking Johnny Depp's Instagram updates when this is a known glitch on the social media platform. Yeah, Instagram will just start removing your likes randomly and not show everybody who liked your status. Like, and they're using this as like evidence that people don't like Johnny and, and are retracting their support. And you know who's doing this mostly and who's been communicating directly with this anonymous account that just so happens to get extreme engagement, which is very sus? NBC reporter Kat Tenbarge. Yeah, she went as far as to publish the name, location, and job of the creator that asked this question about the Anon account, which we all had the same question. So a member of David Shane's PR team wrote an open letter where it talked about the independent creator's children. Yeah, they brought the creator's children into this mess. So like, guys, like it's my opinion that the end goal here is to silence Johnny Depp fans who are calling out fake news, which is unsurprising considering, remember how I told you to not forget his name, David Shane? He's the CEO of Amber's PR firm. Yeah, David got his lawyers, Shady Shane, got his lawyers to personally serve cease and desist letters to the woman who accused 
him of SA. Yeah, so like if your mind's blown, Amber's using a PR firm that silences survivors while she's saying that's what Johnny's doing to her. Guys, make it make sense. The whole situation is so messy, and I don't think these shady tactics are doing Amber's image any favors, but again, they must be incredibly expensive. And I'm not sure what's going on with Cat 10 Barge's mean girl's attitude, but there's been a posting for her job, and it's a bad look for mainstream media who are already losing trust in them, especially after all the hit pieces about Johnny, who ended up winning the case fair and square. Like it was an uphill battle for him to win this case when everybody was trying to spin this narrative about him. I have reached out to Kat for comment and she has not responded. Amber is also facing 14 years behind bars in Australia for sneaking in her dogs and asking her assistant to lie on her behalf. That is another reason she could be pursuing citizenship in Israel since it could protect her from serving that time. Hopefully, the crimes Amber has committed in the USA will be pursued. For example, with Gia, who says Amber slipped her something and would host Ghislaine style parties with Elon Musk to, you know, get video of him, which explains how she's affording everything. Or when Amber illegally employed her assistant and took some pretty uh, questionable photos of her while she was still a teenager. But like whatever the case, hopefully Amber's tactics don't work this time. I'm just concerned for the well-being of her child. It just seems like such a selfish move to me to uproot your entire life to a place that puts them in danger. But what do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe by hitting my face right above Gabby.